That's safe because you know karate. <laughs> What's going on party people? Good morning, welcome back to the channel. Today I will be supervising AJ and Sergio, which you can't see yet, we'll, we'll go ahead and see what they're doing. <laughs> um, we got a couple things we need to be doing today. Uh, it's a pretty much a Sentra day. We're not gonna be working on an E36, no TSX content this time. Maybe next time we'll install, install my header AJ on the TSX. Uh, today's a gloomy day, but the B13, well my B13 at this point, I have a R1977 Koyo radiator that's gonna go in for those of you old school guys that know what it is. If you know, you know, we don't run Mishimoto's around here. Uh, Samco hoses are gonna go in. They're for a Pulsar GTIR, so you're gonna need additional, a couple additional parts, which I have. And Sergio has a GXE trunk that we're putting on that doesn't have the, the trunk garnish that we're cutting holes into. Uh, so that we can go ahead and put a, a stock metal trunk back on his car. Anyway, so we're chilling at AJ's house. We're at a AJ Ajax HQ, as it says on Foursquare, uh, when you look up this address. So let's go ahead and see what Sergio's over here doing. <laughs> Safety first, kids. Safety first. Always wear your face masks. What's up, Sergio? Don't have a brain fart like me. You get yourself a SE or SER trunk. I wanted to go, I wanted to ditch the carbon fiber for now, and it doesn't have the holes the provisions for the for the SE or SER garnish for the center part. So, so we're gonna have to be cutting it up. Yep. Yeah, but it'll work. We use templates here. Pretty much we use the carbon fiber trunk that's sitting over there to make some templates here. Sergio's gonna be cutting that up. We should be able to fit that up. And again, this is just a placeholder pretty much for at some point when you paint the car and re-clear the, oh, sounds like an ice cream truck. When you re-clear the other trunk, right? Yep. So we're gonna be working on that. And hey, AJ got a new truck. Nice truck, AJ. Um, but in the meantime, let me show you what I have to do over here on my side. So I've already taken the radiator out. I also took the upper water neck out on this side. The car had a brand new thermostat and water pump put in when the swap was done by Jay, which you met in the previous video. So that's already been taken care of. I'm not gonna go ahead and touch any of that. But on this side, over here on the floor, we have the um, coil radiator. So this is the Art 1977. So that right there is gonna go in. I have fancy new hardware uh, that's all zinc plated. So that's gonna go in as well. I'm gonna be reusing the stock fans because those work fine. And this is pretty much a pretty simple direct swap. But I do wanna mention a couple things. Hey, Sergio, can you open this one? Oh, never mind. Can you take the, the clamps out of here for me for a second? Oh, Actually, yeah adidas makes cars yeah we're gonna we brought shoes it's already open so inside we have a couple of the parts that we're gonna need um so i don't use the stock clamps anymore i use these ideal trident smart seal wave clamps they, they have they're ridged on the inside and they have constant pressure that they place on your radiator hoses thanks it's ribs to, for her pleasure yeah those are actually from our boy louis lucena out in Illinois, he deals these. Uh, I'll put his information up above. So if you need some ideal Trident, um, excuse me, radiator clamps or any other clamps, uh, Louis, Louis, your man. Um, the one thing I will tell you is, when using these Samco um, radiator hoses, they are for a Pulsar GTIR. So the passenger, excuse me, the driver's side fit fi fits fine. That's not an issue. But for the Pulsar GTIR, the upper water neck, which is this side, is larger. So I actually have to use a girthier, big boy, um, water neck from a Pulsar GTIR. And I, I don't know if you remember this, Sergio, we pulled this off of that GTR that was in that P10 we found in the junkyard once. Oh, yeah. And we pulled the B15 tranny off of that mm -hmm. thing too. Mm -hmm. That actually came off, I knew I was gonna use it someday, but you also have to use the GTR bolts that come with it. Um, so you have to use those as well, because they're longer as well, because that housing is just larger uh, overall in diameter and it's physically larger. All right, so I already finished my end. I installed the radiator. It was a little bit more of a pain than I remember. And that's only because because the radiator is thicker, so it pushes everything closer to the firewall by, I don't know, maybe about five millimeters, something like that. Not, don't quote me on that. I don't know, remember remember the exact numbers. But since it pushes everything closer to the, to the radiator, excuse me, to the, to the firewall, the fans also get closer. So spacing for the O2, the little heat shield behind the, um, AC uh, radiator fan gets pushed back as well so that 
little things need to have to need to be notched and everything like that but for the most part it's all in let me show you guys you can see the samco hose is in here so the samco hose is in here the clamps are in that's ready to go uh, I did install the new hardware in there and that one's in there as well now the only issue I have is that Samco hose touches a little bit on this connector but I don't think it'll be an issue my red car is like that as well so it hasn't been a problem and I track that quite regularly so no issues there other than that everything went pretty smooth uh, with the help of AJ and Sergio trimming up a couple parts while they were trimming his car so I just need to top it off bleed it and this should be good so Let's see what's going on in Sergio's side. Oh, no, no, the hammer's out. This is fine. I'm okay with the events that are unfolding currently. The hammer is out. That means it's going down. What are we doing, AJ? Cutting holes. How's it looking so far? Like, I was hungry, so I started chilling. Yeah, it doesn't look too bad, though. No, we got a little bit of massaging to do. But, but we're waiting for you to get done. At the end of the day, it'll, it'll be... It's gonna be covered up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, that, that's gonna be covered up. I'll go, do you, do you have, where, where's your, your bleeder? Uh, uh, one eternity later. All right, so we're bleeding the car now. Uh, it is getting full on hot up in here, but seriously, no, it's, uh, it's bleeding quite well. I'm waiting for the fans to kick on one more time. I did, I did run the bleeder screw. Uh, and blood it that way as well. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and let it run heat cycle twice. It did it already once, I have the heater on now. I'm gonna turn that off and let the fans kick on again. And then we should be good to go. What do we got Sergio, how are we doing? Uh, just just tightening down the bolts and it should be ready to, oh, you just gotta plug in the, the new bolts. And then boom, 9394 trunk now, again. Yep, now it'll have the correct. The correct. 9394 center garnish. Oh yeah, huh, cause the, it, the, the trunk over there came had a 9192, right? Yep, came from my first SDR. So oh, we just reused that part. I realized a lot of the mounting is, I mean, the actual piece of the varnish or the correct holes, but the lock doesn't line up. And, uh, yeah, that's what people don't some well, little minor things. Don't realize, yeah, like the lock is different on the XE trunk that doesn't have it because the SCR one or the SE with the garnish, it's, it protrudes a little bit more and stuff like that. Thanks, AJ. Wouldn't be a BSA video without it. Without you making noise? Yeah. So that should be all good. He'll just wire that up and put that together. I'll wait for this to, like I mentioned, just cycle one more time. We'll clean all this up and then we'll head to the back and install the stop techs and the Fortunatos on the Sentra that's in the back. But again, huh, worked out really good. Pretty easy. I didn't have to do this, obviously. Uh, the car doesn't need it, but I'd rather upgrade something that's just going to be beneficial to the car overall than not do it and again this is really hard radiator find i don't run mishimoto's on any of my cars i just don't like the quality on them so if you can find a koyo r 1977 pick it up uh, also this i don't know if i mentioned this in the beginning but this radiator here this one right here actually was a 1.6 radiator although it's in, it was in good shape or it is in good shape uh, i don't need it so it's gonna get tossed but I could tell it was a 1.6 radiator because this had the this stupid additional piece here to fit the 2.0 um, radiator hoses. So a lot of times, as you guys know, they'll make the 1.6 radiator, so it'll be like, it's like a 1.6, 1.2. But it pretty much is a 1.6 just with this thing on there, and then boom, that's it. And then I think they, yep. So they also do it on the bottom port, the bottom uh, radiator hose as well. So. Proper cooling off of the coil. I do drive this thing quite a bit. I've been driving it quite a lot. Uh, <laughs> enough to get caught on the freeway. I don't know if you guys can see that, but there's a crack in here now because something hit me on the freeway today. A nice little X right there in the front. Also guys, I wanted to highly recommend the Brembo pads for the 8022s. Just Brembo pads in general, but man, these things are very much so Three pads for the street. Um, I think that it's their Brembo Sport pads or something like that. Um, I'll put the information up above. But it's, as you can tell, like, see how dirty that wheel is. And that's the rear. So not too big of a difference actually when you compare the front to the rear. Usually with the StopTech pads, I've used the StopTech Sport pads as well. The dusting is crazy, but not too bad, right? 
And what do they cross-reference cross reference with? Um, this is like actually... Eagle Talon? Yeah, this is Eagle Talon uh, front pads and, and hard brake hardware. So, good to know for the 8022 people. Did you just assume my financial uh, status? That and your gender. <laughs> All right, let's continue working. We decided that instead of going to work on the other car that's in the back and installing stop techs and Porsche autos on it, that now we're hungry and I think we're done for the day. I, I, I honestly feel like, you know, bleeding this and setting the coil up on this, you know, getting that trunk on that car and Sergio putting in work over there. I just, we just built so much of an appetite that now we got to go eat. And if we go eat, we're going to come back and we're going to be full. It's going to be dark. And, and yeah, it's going to be dark and it's super humid out here. Yeah. It's just, it's just a, a crap show, right? I don't know how those Florida guys do it, man. You those Florida to, guys are just, whew, I tell you, you, man. Living there for a eight. You know, it, it's just, old, uh, it's, when you hit the 40, the 40 club, it's over. It's, old it's, grandpa. it's over for me, man. It's over. All right, Down so <laughs> yeah, I, I I am an old man. So the trunk is on, everything fits up. Yes, it's a different shade of red, but you know what? It's Fifty shades of red. But you it's can't. A, you it's can't. A, it's a prequel. You, you can't tell no, if no, no, you walking. can't. Keep no, walking. not further. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Give it keep going. It'll look keep good. going. Move over a little bit. You're about to walk into a pole. Keep going. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. So I gotta stand over there somewhere. So you can't notice it's a different shade of red, but you know what? You can't tell. I mean, you know. You're gonna put the red hood on it too, right, Sergio? Yeah. So it's gonna go back to a metal OEM hood. Um, that's probably something I'm gonna end up doing too to my car. I'm, I'm kind of over the carbon fiber stuff. So episode's done. Thanks for watching, guys. So for AJ, for Sergio, while he tries to plug in that hole, and for me, that is a wrap. I think the next episode, uh, TSX header install. Sure. So we might not even get to that car in the back. <laughs> we'll get to it eventually. So next episode, hopefully, we'll do a TSX header install. That should be pretty quick. So that shouldn't be too, too bad. But we're definitely going to go ahead and work on that off camera. And we'll finish that up. Right. And that's it. All right, guys. Thanks. Peace.